basically I moved my Florida Guard back outside into the exotic pond last video. He's been in this tank, my Jack Dempsey, for the past month or so. And I said that there was a reason why I was moving him back outside last video. That's because last weekend when I was getting ready to leave the fish store that I work at, I noticed that someone had brought in an albino buy shirt. And I thought, hey, he would do really, really good in here along with the Jack Dempsey. But I just didn't want to put him in here when I had the Gar in here. So I waited until I moved the Gar out of here, which was yesterday. So that way when I went back to the store, I could get the buy shirt for the tank. Well, today I went ahead and got that guy. Check him out. Looking good, looking good. I mean, he's not huge. He's got a little size to him, but he's not really, really big. But that guy is looking really, really good in here. So I'm going to go ahead and let this guy start acclimating. And we'll come back in about 20 minutes or so to put him in the tank. But yeah, check him out. He is looking really, really nice. The Jack Dempsey, he's uh. He's pretty freaked out. He doesn't like it when I add new fish in here. I've noticed that. I not only got the Bicer because I thought it was a really, really cool fish and would look really nice in there, but I also got him because I know a lot of you guys like Bicers. I mean, after all, my most viewed video is about a dang Bicer. Now, the Gar is doing really, really good. He's only been in here for about a day, but uh, you can see him just chilling right down there on the bottom part of the pond up underneath a piece of driftwood. Yeah, he's doing great. I haven't decided fully as to what other big South American cichlid I want to put in that pond, along with the albino oscar, the peacock bass, and the marble car catfish. But I did see a few minutes ago where someone commented on the last video and said that a jaguar cichlid would probably do good in there. That was one of the cichlids I had in mind, or a Midas cichlid. So let me know if you guys would like me to put a jaguar cichlid in that pond. The soft shells, man, I haven't given you guys an update on them in a while. But yeah, check them out. There's the bigger guy right there, looking good, looking good. He's ready to be fed. And there's the other guy up there basking. I don't want to get any closer because I know I'll just spook him. But yeah, they're doing great. And so is our new tiger or zebra crayfish. He's just chilling right there in his cave. But I got a little piece of frozen shrimp right here. I'm going to drop this in there for him. And another two little baby frontos. So they're doing great as well. But I'll watch him. He's going to come right on out as soon as he smells it. Oh, oh, oh. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, oh. Got it. He's going to go right back in his cave too. Look at that guy. Check him out, check him out. Looking good, looking good. Look at these guys, just going crazy. Little Electric Blue Jack Dempsey's got it right there. And uh, I mentioned last video that I might just be having to get rid of these guys. So if any of you guys want the two Electric Blue Jack Dempsey's, I'm going to be giving them away for free. No, I'm just kidding. But seriously though, like the bigger guy, oh, he's coming out. He's finally coming out. Here's the bigger guy right here. But the bigger guy has become so freaking antisocial and it only comes out when I feed the tank now. And I mean, he used to be like the most energetic fish that I had in probably all of my tanks. I mean, you guys know, I was so used to, you know, seeing them going up and down, up and down, up and down, just constantly moving around the tank. And they, especially the bigger guys, become so antisocial and aggressive. I mean, these guys were so peaceful. You know, I had them in this community tank with all these tetras, didn't have any problems whatsoever. And then just here recently when this guy added a little bit more size onto him he started to get really really aggressive so i probably am gonna have to move him out of this tank i'm not gonna get rid of them because i mean they're beautiful fish but i probably am gonna have to move him out of this tank i don't know exactly what tank just yet um and I, you know for the most part the little guy isn't aggressive every once in a while he'll kind of go after the tetras but it's mainly the bigger guy like the bigger one is even aggressive towards the other electric blue jack dense he'll come around that corner like he's doing right now and just kind of pick at his tail and the only reason why he's not doing it right now is because there's food in the tank but yeah they're really really nice looking fish I've had these guys for almost a year now and uh, they've just been really slow growing but here recently like I said the bigger guys put on a little bit more size and with that size just came more aggression so this guy's been acclimating for the past 20 minutes or so and he's now ready to go into his new tank I didn't think about this one thing though the gravel and his color that won't show up very well, but he's still going to be so cool in this tank. All right, here he is. You guys know that most fish, I'll just grab my hands, but this guy, I took no chances with it because they are super slimy, but there he is. Check him out. Check him out. Looking good. And he looks really, really small in here, but this guy's only going to get bigger and bigger the more time that he's in here. So out goes the guard, in goes the bicher. So the Jack Dempsey, it'll take him a few days to kind of adjust to a new tank mate in here. Uh, but I think this guy's going to do really, really good in here. He's just kind of checking out the tank right now. And eventually he's going to go in there and try to chill out with the Jack Dempsey because these guys, of course, like, you know, little caves and stuff like that. So I'm going to let that guy find his way around the tank and check everything out. And I'll give you guys an update on him in a few days. Look at him. Just want to get a little air right there. But yeah, that guy. He is looking really, really cool in here. So it's been about two days now, and the Bicer's doing really, really good and all. The only thing is, is that I haven't been able to get him to eat yet. Now, I don't know if it's a thing of 
we just need to give him a few more days to kind of settle into the tank and get used to everything to get hungry and once he gets hungry just like any other fish he'll most definitely eat now I dropped two pieces of frozen shrimp into the tank and he met up with them two or three times but literally rejected them as soon as he smelled them and was like touching the pieces of shrimp so I've never you know seen a bisher or really any fish that doesn't like frozen shrimp or tilapia and those two foods right there would be like the two main foods that I would feed a bisher in really any other predatory fish so it is a little bit surprising to me that he's not eating them yet and the thing is, is that he's looking for food and I can tell he's looking for food because he's doing that little head bobbing thing in between the rocks he's definitely looking for food but he's not eating that frozen shrimp and oh my gosh he grabbed it he grabbed it oh my gosh he finally got it are you serious bro as I'm filming this he grabs the big piece of shrimp look at this oh my gosh what on earth I guess it literally just took me to talk about him not eating and he literally just started eating right there look at this he's got that huge piece of shrimp in his mouth I should have cut it up in a little bit of a smaller piece but look at that holy cow he's got that thing finally ate it and that was the piece that he went up to two or three times and rejected it didn't eat it but he's got it in his mouth right there holy cow that is one weird fish right there so he's got it and he's trying to make it into a smaller piece this piece over here is a much uh, smaller piece but yeah he's got it check that out look at that guy like I said I definitely should have kinda of made it a much smaller piece which is what he's trying to do right now but uh that guy has got it check that out though man I was literally just talking about how this guy was not eating and then he does that holy cow look at that holy cow that guy's eventually gonna get that piece down but man check that guy out crazy he's got it look at that he is just about got it down check that guy out it's almost like a snake you know these guys look very very similar to eels are actually not a type of eel but it's almost like a snake how they eat stuff they get really really you know big meals and uh, it takes them a while to actually get the meal down but once they get it down they actually won't eat for a few days to weeks and even months sometimes I'm literally trying to get a shot of the bicho right now and the Jack Dempsey's blocking him look at this but anyways that guy has dude just honestly move out of the way like please he's literally got his whole entire tail covering up his face like he's literally trying to hide him anyways that guy is officially eating in the tank now so that's really really good and if he's still hungry he's still got a little piece of shrimp over here somewhere I think it's right there it's gonna be really really fun to watch this guy grow in this tank and get bigger and bigger but uh like I mentioned earlier in the video it's just really really hard to spot him like I mean you can see him but he would show up a lot better on some uh, black gravel but uh anyways that guy's doing great. I noticed I haven't really given you guys an update on our snowflake clownfish since we got them, but they're doing really, really good. They're eating great, and uh, they're just looking really, really nice in here. So are our hammer coral and our candy canes, the zoanthids, and also I got this new little thing of some type of SPS coral. I'm not really sure what it is, so if you guys have any idea as to what that coral right there is, like I said, it's some kind of SPS coral, uh, but if you guys have any idea as to what it is, please let me know down below in the comments. We had a bigger rock of it at the store that I work at and I thought it looked really, really cool. So I asked my boss what it was and he didn't even know what it was. He just said it was some type of SPS coral that somebody had brought into the store. So he broke me off a little piece of it. Uh, but yeah, like I said, if you guys have any ideas as to what it is, please let me know down below in the comments. That's gonna pretty much do it for now though. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and if you did, please be sure to leave it a like down below and hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And uh, with that being said, you guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.